What's up guys? Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to wire in parallel on your subwoofers that have dual voice coils. Alright, so to keep it simple, uh, there's two ways to wire, really. It's, so it's parallel and there's series. So most people wire their subs in parallel, so I'm going to show you guys that first. So for one sub, what you're going to do is you're going to run one side. So let's say, so this is a positive. You're going to run positive to positive, and then what you're going to do is run negative to the other side to the negative over here. Okay? And in one side, you're going to take, so let's say you do negative, you're going to run that negative back there to the amp. And on this side, this coil, you're going to run positive back to the amp. Okay? So, again, I'll repeat myself. You're going to run positive to positive. And you're going to take another wire and go negative to negative to the jumper. All right. And then you're going to run that negative coil back to the amplifier. And then you're going to run the positive side off of that coil to the amplifier. And that's the most simplest way to wire in parallel. So what this is, is if you have a four ohm speaker, that would send that speaker into two ohms. So your amplifier will be seeing two ohms. And if you had two speakers, so you would do basically the same exact thing. Let me show you with these two back here. So you would do the same thing, positive to positive, negative to negative, and the same thing for this one, positive to positive, negative to negative, and you would run the negative and the negative side straight back to the amplifier, okay? And for this one, you can run the positive and the positive off of this coil back to the amplifier. So it's still one negative, one positive, okay? and run it back to the amplifier. And if you have two four ohm speakers, that's gonna wire you down to one ohms. So parallel basically divides the ohms in half. So if you got four ohms, it's gonna go to two ohms. If you have two four ohms, it's gonna go down to one, one ohm. All right, so that is how to wire in parallel. Now series is a little bit different. Okay, so series basically adds ohms. So let's say you had a one ohm speaker that would double it and that would make it two ohms. So what we were gonna do to wire in series is you would take one coil and you would do a positive to a negative. Okay, so just a little jumper positive to negative and then you would run a negative of this coil to the back and you would run positive to the back. So you're only gonna have one jumper wire, okay? And then that negative will go to the back and that positive will go to the back. And that is how to wire in series. Of course, if you wanted to wire multiple amplifiers, you would do, I mean, multiple subwoofers, you would do the same thing. So you would have positive to negative, positive to negative, and then both negatives would go back to the amplifier. And then both positives on this side would go back to the amplifier. And that's kind of keeping it simple. That's how to wire in series and parallel. The most common way is parallel. So, like I said, that divides your ohms in half, and series basically multiplies your ohms. That's kind of keeping it simple. There's other ways to wire. You can wire series parallel, paris, parallel series, but that's where it gets a little bit more confusing. I might show you guys that in a future video, but stay tuned. But that is how to wire in parallel and series on dual voice coil subwoofers.